Reps, one motion, two motion, three, four. That grouping is called a set. Now, how many reps should you do? I suggest between 12 and 15. How many sets should you do? Well, for each exercise, I suggest you only do four sets per exercise. Now, the complication comes in on schemes, supersets, drop sets. All these different types of things do matter, but it's based on what your actual goal may be. If you're someone who's trying to establish what's called hypertrophy, the whole goal is to simply make the muscle fiber grow, the muscle cell to expand. Let's keep that part simple. What I'm trying to do is using a number of repetitions to move the weight, I want to challenge the muscle. So as the muscle has to grow to meet the challenge I put on it. This comes over time. Now that I've completed that workout for the week, when I return the next week to do the workout, I should be a little bit stronger perhaps. Reason being is my body had enough recovery time to come back bigger and stronger in preparation for what it knows may happen again. Here's a good metaphor for you. If you took a pumice stone, opened your palm, and rubbed that area of your palm continuously, it would break down and become raw, sensitive. When you come back to it days later, it's a little bit thicker, stronger, because it knows it has to have a developed strengthened area because of what you just did to it. Your muscles are the same way. You're actually tearing down the intended muscle with the intent on recovering it so as it comes back bigger, stronger, more prepared for what just previously happened the weeks before. This is simple, you guys. Don't complicate it. Ron Jones with more advice to help you and your health and fitness goals.